I've no proof when people say you're more or less aloof, but you're sensational. Today's Tuesday, June thirteenth, John. I don't care. So it's the Investitude podcast. I can't forget to mention that. And uh, I saw that they you. They won't pay us if you don't. <laughs> I, sh- <laughs> I showed uh, I sh- you sh- tweeted out a picture on Instagram of um, I guess some lady you flew up to New York with yeah I was flying uh, Jet Smarter out to uh, New York into White Plains and uh, sat with a friend and a client and uh, took a picture of her as we were getting off the plane and uh I guess your mom noticed her fancy purse. Yeah, she said, "Oh, that's a a Belkin." Birkin. Birkin. I'm thinking of something <laughs> else. Okay, so Birkin, and I said, "Mom, how do you know that?" She's like, "Oh, the Kardashians carry them around." And Grace Kelly had one. I'm like, "Oh God, here we go." So, I, yeah, that's that's the one that uh, Grace Kelly made fa- famous. Of course, the it doesn't doesn't bear her name, but. Apparently, it's named after a lady named Birkin, um, who was a socialite and loved that Hermes bag. And Grace Kelly used it to hide her baby bump when she was first pregnant. She would hold that big old purse in front of herself so that people didn't really see the baby bump as she was, uh, um, you know, basically an American princess. (laughs) Married the uh, Prince of Monaco, right? Yeah. And she used to come and, down the uh, shore. The she, used, oh. she used to come down to uh, Ocean City, like me. Like I feel like I'm Grace Kelly this week. That's right. You're uh, rubbing elbows with the hoi polloi there. <laughs> Boy, that is American Princess, by the way. Uh, Grace Kelly Drive. I've seen that as you go down the uh, yeah down the river towards Maniunk. Oh yeah. How about that, I'll even throw a few of those names out at you, Andrew. I've been to Philly a few times. Yeah. Love Maniunk, by the way, but that used to... where they do all the rowing and everything on the river. Yeah, yeah. That's Grace Kelly Drive on the, well, it's you actually... know, that winds along the river there. It's actually named after the brother, because the brother, like, used to do brickwork, and he was a councilman. Ah. Yeah. So he was big. There used to be a big sign that said, Kelly for brickwork in Philly. <laughs> the Grace Kelly Show. Well, she came from a very... Um... Uh, elite family that became even more so, of course, when she uh, married the king of Monaco. And there you are, traveling with a Birkin bag. That's yep, Birkin. so I'm traveling with a, my friend with the Birkin bag. It is uh, a, a pleasure and a uh, privilege to be able to do that much business on it. But everybody's more relaxed on a private plane. Mm-hmm. It's a shared private jet. But there's, you know, I, I meet great folks on there. I met Nicole on there. And uh, you can do business with people on those because, again, everybody's more relaxed than even first class on a regular commercial. And everybody's happier <laughs> because, again, it's, it's not a commercial. They're you not. Have to go through wait, the so the you... hassle of getting there to the airport so you're... and all the rest. Wait, you're saying they don't beat you when you go on the plane? You don't get beaten and frisked and raped before you get on? Ah, you don't get, yeah, you don't get the the frisking and all the rest. All they do is basically, Andrew, they have a dog sniff your bags, which I don't believe they do for commercial, by the way. I know they run them through a machine, but they don't have a dog sniff your bags for commercial. They do that on private. And they, you know, they check your ID, but you don't have to go through, you know, the all the other stuff that you have to go through for commercial flights that make it just, you know, so invasive and so much longer because obviously not everybody flies as much as those of us who are road warriors do. So if you don't, again, I'm not blaming the folks who don't know what to do when they get to the airport because how would they know? Oh, you got to take this out of your bag. You got to take off your shoes in that line. You don't have to take them off in this line. Yada yada. I mean, it's just you know, it, it actually, backs up. Actually, I was I was just thinking about taking off your shoes because I was going to segue into Nike. You don't have to take your Nikes off. 
<laughs> no. Did you t- are you going to do that because more <laughs> unusual activity in Nike? Is that why? I'm are, <laughs> so are you taking your Nike shoes off? Or are you leaving your Nike shoes <laughs> on, John? Well, luckily, so I'm TSA pre, so uh, that means that when I do fly commercial, I can go through that line, which means you can leave your shoes on unless they've got metal in them. Yeah, but I'm talking about um, the trade. I'm talking about the trade. Yeah, the, the trade I love. Nike, <laughs> NKE, um, stocks up again today. We talked about it yesterday briefly. We've been long this name for several weeks, and it's not been a, you know, a, a, a moonshot but it's just been a s- slow and steady climber. I mean, it. I think when we talked about it, it was 52, Andrew. It's pushing to 55 or close to it today, isn't it? Yeah. So upside call buying at the June 30th, 55 strike today for NKE, the goddess of uh, victory. <laughs> and you know what, what? Isn't that what Phil Knight named it for? Well, yeah, the great book. Good story. Got to read book. it. Chew Dog. Love that book. What you know, the other one that Pete mentioned, which is kind of interesting, we should talk about is AVGO Broadcom. Yeah. What do you yep. th- what What do you think's going on there? That's the three hundreds in that. Yeah, they were buying three hundreds. Now they're buying three twenties. You know, the, the only way to play Avago is with options. Oh, Anybody yeah. doing it any other way, unless you're a hedge fund, you know, you're just burning up. It's like Amazon. You know, you can't buy enough Amazon stock because it's a, basically a nine hundred and seventy-five dollar stock or something like that. So you got to buy options or call spreads or sell puts. But you sell puts, you have to have enough money in your account to buy the stock. You can buy a call spread and not do that, or you, of course, could sell a put spread. Um, but uh, I love it. Yes, please. Thank you. And. Uh, I, I like it. I like that Avago trade. Pete's been in it for a while. Um, I jumped on it today, Andrew, and I think it's going to be uh, um, a winner for us. Um, and it's probably because of the iPhone 8, quite frankly, among other things. But I think that's one of the big reasons. Broadcom? iPhone 8, baby. All right. Broadcom Avago. Okay. And then moving on, what else are you saying today? How much? Um, what did I do? I did some of that Etsy, E-T-S-Y. I saw you mentioned that on the Got show. Got long that name. I also did FMSA, which is uh, like Fairmont, Santol, or something like that. It's a, uh, it's a fracking play, and I like that. It, they, they're a sand play for the fracking. Yeah, we can take the outer ring. That's great. Thank you, sir. Um, I like that play, Andrew. I'm in that. I was in it from 465, I think, or 470 this morning. I'm still long it. They were buying the five calls in July, and I think uh, I think they bought 10,000 of them or more. It's a little, and I'm in that one. A little cheapy. It's like four bucks a share, five bucks a share. That high is 13 for the year on this thing. Yep. So it's near. I love it. All right. Well, that's a cheap play. Now you're seeing activity on this one. Or is this just... Yep, right at the five strike in July. Oh, so it's even so short that. term. That's why I'm in it. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. No, I like this. This one's cheap enough. I wonder if it pays a dividend. I've got to look. Okay. So what else you got going on in New York? Um. Well, I'm flying back right now. What? Um, I got a meeting with a client, and then I've got a softball game tonight. So if you're coming over, Andrew, thank you. If you're coming over to... Uh, Nick and Dino's tonight, Andrew. I'll see you there. Then I'll fly back out here tomorrow. Oh, I'm on the beach, my friend. I'm not going anywhere oh, yeah? near, Chica- near Chicago. <laughs> okay. Nick Just saying Dino. in case you were there, Andrew. Nah, nah, not me. I'm going to go down. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go down the, be- what? the beach for the seventh time today. The uh, Oh, yeah? Well, at nighttime, they've been trying to launch this uh, rocket from NASA down in North Carolina. So everybody goes on uh-huh. the beach around nine o'clock, and you, oh, yeah? you can see it clear That's as day. Yeah. So I went down the last two nights, and they scrubbed it the last two nights. So tonight might be the charm, if they're doing it tonight. All right. So that's well, what I'm doing I hope tonight. You, I hope they do. Yeah, you'll see it on the news for sure. All right. If it happens. Well, folks, remember you can subscribe through iTunes or YouTube. YouTube, we're Nigerian TV, and iTunes. 
share it with a friend and uh, we'll be there for you tomorrow.